performance. Absolutely. Uh, I thought the second half we were delighted with them. I thought in the first half, uh, mentally I suppose coming off, coming off the back of the throne win last week, there was a great high coming off of last week and I, f I knew t this week was going to be sl uh, a lot different because you're playing the Donegal on the 21s and I thought that uh, mentally coming into the game we were, we were in a good place because we had big three or four days ahead of us, we have Georgetown coming up too so this was a game about winning and getting across the line and I thought we did okay in the first half but the second half I thought we were excellent. When they got the goal, uh, you lost momentum a, a bit at that stage because we had a lot of possession but we weren't scoring. It's very difficult to break down. Listen, blanket defence is not easy and Donegal are masters of setting up that blanket defence. And uh, Definitely, listen, that's a huge plus for us because we're going to meet that blanket defence later on in the year. So it was a great learning curve for us in the first half. I thought we set up better in the second half. Stephen Murray had a great game coming in. His runs from deep caused, caused a bother and we were able to you know, get the runner coming off the shoulder better and it, it opened Donegal up which was great and then we got two, the two goals at key moments and in fairness Rory Dunn was playing full back and he scored the first goal and I'm delighted with that there because uh, Rory, we lost him last week with the flu late on and I was delighted for him to come in and make a big shift. I saw when Rory came in in the second half he stabilised the whole thing and your mom, my momentum going forward was more concerted and uh, more cohesive. Absolutely, listen we're still trying to find balance in this football team. Uh, all we're looking for is work rate and effort and I thought it was absolutely class today. I thought around the field, Killian Clark is a fantastic young man and I thought he put a great shift in around the middle there. Uh, he was worked tire tirelessly for the team and overall, listen, I'm delighted and listen, we had a couple of defenders scored today, Park Faulkner scored three points. You know, that's fabulous. Some week. phenomenal points, great for a young man, good for his confidence. Absolutely, listen, I want all guys to think about scoring. That's the modern game we live, we lo live in. Uh, if you look at Donegal last year, their cornerbacks are great scorers. Throne have the same, Dublin have the same. You know, that's the modern game. The day if you leave in the six forwards and saying it's up to them to score is over. So I'm encouraging everybody, that if you get a chance to go forward, score and help us win the game. Martin Riley was at centre half back and your captain today. Is it a role maybe he might fulfil for the foreseeable future or are you looking at people in different positions? We're still trying to find balance. Absolutely. I would be very of the belief that uh, I want players to be comfortable in different positions. Comfortable on the ball, comfortable moving the ball. And in this, in this modern game, you've got to be fit to move around. You know, the day of uh, centre half back is probably over. The Henry Downey, as it was back, you know, back in the early 90s, and that, that sort of thing is over. We need a centre half back who can attack. We're looking at guys who can be comfortable on the ball, who can move the ball quickly, can transition between defence and attack. And listen, we're delighted with Martin Reilly. Martin Reilly can play anywhere. He proved that last week. I thought he was immense against Petey Hart. And today he was absolutely fabulous. He took at least two or three of the Donegal kickouts, and that's he's a great kid. And his attitude and effort, effort in the round trip, he's just a fabulous leader, and that's why he was captain today. Yeah, John McCutcheon and Thomas Corr out there from the start in the midfield area. How do you think they performed today? Listen, I, I thought uh, Tomas uh, put on a serious shift, Mossy, so he did. John McCutcheon is great. He had a bad flu last week and missed out starting last week, so. We're still trying to find positions for them. John's probably more comfortable in the half back line, and I thought he had a great second half there in the half back line. Uh, Mossy Duffin puts in a serious shift for us. The day of 15 footballers starting and finishing the game is over. It's a 23 24 man team, and you have six subs. We used six subs the day, we used six subs last week. I'd have a great belief that you know that it's going to be a 21 man team once again. What would you have learned most from today, Matty? I've learned that, listen, I'm absolutely proud of these guys. Yeah. The effort off them last week against Tyrone is fabulous. The, the second half I thought we were really, really good in how we, we controlled the game and finished the game. This was a real banana skin for us against Don, Donegal on the 21s. We have Georgetown on Wednesday night. We need a rest and recover. And what I've learned is uh, we've got a class team and a great group of lads and I'm looking forward to spending the year working on it. You seem to be in a good place, uh, Matty, and I think you were quoted as somewhere saying this will be a fun year and you're going to enjoy it. But you're enjoying your, your stewardship with Cavan so far. There's no doubt. These are great lads. Absolutely. I'm trying to work. Terry Highland, what Terry has left me is fabulous. He has left me a great backroom team. And absolutely, this is not about Matt McLean and I want you to know. Listen, I'm just a good looking figurehead in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this, this is not about me. I can stand here and talk to you guys. The backroom team that we have is fabulous. Finbar Riley's at number two, Larkin, Owen, Brennan, uh, all the guys, Simon the Doc. It's, it's, it's not a collective one man show here. We're a team, we're a team of backroom team, we're a management team, we're a football team. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. And I think the players are really enjoying it and how they're playing the game. I think that shows how they're playing. 
and we just want more of it. We want to keep going. Not going on. And statistically, uh, you, do you think you're in the semi-final now? I didn't just hear what the value of the results. I've no were. idea. Listen, that's 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 a good score. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't write anything off yet because uh, if you write Mickey Hart off, you're making an awful mistake. Yeah. And I would say uh, Mickey'd love another go at us before they <laughs> get to the national league. Uh, there's not a chance Mickey's going to give up the McKenna Cup without a fight. So. Uh, they have the done it all on the 21s on Wednesday is their last game, so they're going to post. They're going to look to post a score to, e to even get that fourth place place. Yeah. So uh, listen, it'll stand us. It's games. I can't replicate train as well as I can replicate that out there. So if I can get another training session Wednesday night against UUJ, that gives me a semi final. Listen, uh, as I said last week, uh, there's a cup there, and why not, Kevin? Matty, thank you very much. Well Thanks done. very much. All right.